What's your strategic response if China next year goes into manufacturing with a sub two nanometer system that's got higher yields, is faster, is cheaper than anything that we're seeing anywhere else in the world? Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's talk about that if it actually happens. I don't think it's going to. But what would I be focused on right now? I would say we want to get more of the leading edge manufacturing in the United States. TSMC has already opened a big fab in Arizona, and they're planning on increasing the size of that. And that's really important. And we should get all these restrictions out of the way. They're facing all sorts of permitting restrictions. I mean, all the stuff that Bernie's talking about where he wants to slow down. I mean, he's talking about data centers, but not so you, if you've got Bernie the Sanders, concepts are the same. Yeah. Ro Khanna, Elizabeth Warren, you've this got is exactly anti- wrong. I mean, anti-tech we be- progress people saying, let's stop all this stuff. Meanwhile, China is not just racing to catch up, but they're likely going to get ahead of the United States. And if we're caught flat footed because we've got a moratorium on development, a moratorium on production, it's going to be extraordinarily damaging. Right. Well, look, this is where I agree with you is that if this Reuters report is accurate, it does speed up the timeline on China closing the chip gap from it's not you know, just a decade you can, to a you, few years. 